Good evening from Atlanta, Georgia. I am Megan Kelly, the host of the Megan Kelly Show podcast. Thank you for joining us for the 2028 vice presidential debate. Hello, everyone. Gonta is really looking forward to debating Gonta's friends on this stage tonight. Please. I'm not finished, Gonta. The way this debate will work is that I will only ask three, and I will repeat three questions after the disaster your friends put my former coworker Chris Wallace through last time. Now, can you all please introduce yourselves to the audience, please? K-Day, you can begin. Hi, everyone. I'm sure this is the first time you've ever heard of me before, but I am both Shuichi Saihara's wife and hopefully your next vice president. I want to work for an America that stands as a forefront for our guiding principles, freedom, the pursuit of happiness, and... Okay, Kaide, can you slow down? I'm not some college graduate with a master's degree in 5,000 different subjects. I guess manners are out the window tonight as well, huh? Oh, fuck you, Megan. You haven't seen the worst of it yet. Maybe if you let me on stage, we could get this party started. <laughs> you serious? The candidates would like some respect from the audience. They obviously don't want it from each other, but please, thank you. As I was saying, you don't have to use some kind of pre-planned speech to talk to the American people. I'm speaking from my heart when I say I'm going to work hard with Miu to fix the problems of the day and and will make America strong again. I'm Kaido Momota. I'm a family man, I have a truck, and I want to work hard for America. You didn't let me fucking finish, Kaido. Are you gonna give us an actual introduction? Or are you going to continue with that bummer of a speech your campaign manager thought of at the very last minute? Guys, guys, guys! We can't go on and fight like this. Gonta wants to speak to the American people about how Gonta and Kokichi will keep this nation moving into the right direction. Before you both start to eviscerate Ganta, I would like to properly begin this debate. Over the course of the past four years, the current administration's policy regarding the border crisis was to let anyone in since the president has said, and I quote, if they want to enter so badly, why should we stop them? They are more patriotic than half of the people in this room. They are better than the deadbeats who live with their mom until their beds eat them alive. I wanna say I'm lying, but that would be disrespectful to the concept of lying. Anywho, we should really... I'm just gonna refrain from acknowledging the Dick President title. What do you have to say about this concern many Americans have today? I'm willing to take this much further than Ms. Aruma pledges to do. We need to do anything in our power to stop this invasion at our border. If it means we replace all of our border security with futuristic robots that shoot lasers and can blow up a horde of illegals with one That's press enough, of a button. Kaido. I don't like how you treat these migrants, Kaido. The way you shape and cultivate and manipulate your message to the American people is harmful and disgraceful. They are only coming here for a better life, and I want to help them all. But we can't let them flood in without any legal permissions and certifications. A wall is a step too far. We need to have educational facilities and more border patrol and learn about these people before we are quick to hurt them. Let alone kill innocent people. Why can't we just keep letting them in? Gonta and Kokichi's plan has worked for everyone. Explain your administration's plans to invade Canada because they aren't shipping enough maple syrup to America in a so-called timely fashion. Nope. We aren't going to be talking about that today. Uh, the administration is literally cutting Canada's power because they believe they are all afraid of the dark and they'll crawl into balls and die from fear. Is that something we aren't debating tonight? Fine, you can debate each other on your own. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go use the bathroom. Kaidi, I'll pay you after the show if you manage to babysit these two without one of them killing the other. Uh, I mean, I'll try my best. But with Kaido, I can't make any promises. Oh, come on, man! Ah, uh, it feels good to be here. Anywho, Kaido, I have to ask you why you have such low self-respect that you are on the same ticket as a self-registered thought. And Kaide, I am wondering where Shuichi was on September 11th. Did someone say September 11th? Oh, holy fuck no. Oh my God, this guy is literally the Twin Towers now. Yeah, it's funny. Uh -huh. This guy is one of the planes. Brilliant, beautiful costume. First of all, Miu is not a thought. She is a very intelligent woman, and she deserves your unwarranted respect, or at least for you to refer to her as her birth-given name. 
And how much did she pay you to say that? A thousand, ten thousand, a million? Kokichi, what are you doing? Kokichi, you are embarrassing Ganta. Everyone is going to talk about Ganta and Kokichi because of this. Holy shit, you sound even worse than a broken tape up there. Maybe during the next election, I would be better off with Tarzan as my vice president. I definitely have to rig this one. Shuichi was only two years old when 9-11 occurred. He was probably hanging out with his uncle watching the newest episode of Forensic Files. That's fake news. Someone that age probably doesn't know their ABCs, let alone who killed some rando they'll never meet. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Meeting. Get the fuck out. Yes, ma'am. I have one final question to ask the three of you tonight, and it's about how you will promote diversity and inclusion in our government. How am I supposed to watch bullshit like that, Chris? Even Fox News has gone down the path to no return. What the actual fuck? First of all, you said you would get me another beer like 10 minutes ago. It isn't going to magically grow legs and walk its way to me. And second of all, I want my baby girl Nikki back. <laughs> yeah, no fuck this. We have to be very smart about these kinds of decisions. But at the same time, it's fairly simple. If you are qualified, you get the job, it's that easy. Look at Ganta. I went from having no job to becoming the vice president of Narnia. Anyone can serve in any position they would like. Ganta can promise a diverse administration. Ganta already has 10 Nikki Haley clones planning our invasion of Israel. Did you mean to say Iran and don't get me started on Narnia? Ah, Ganta is so sorry Ganta has never held any official position before so he is still training for such a huge responsibility. Okay, yeah. No, I am ending this whole debacle right now. Ganta, come with me, please. We have more important measures to attend to. But what about the debate? You, uh, you easily won the debate in a landslide. We need to go now. Why? I saw a bumblebee on Mike Pence's face. Let's go grab it before it gets all the media coverage tonight. Wait for me, Kokichi. What the actual fuck? You know the drill, cut the footage. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I need to rethink all my life choices. Feel free to join me after the show.